Guys, we are in Las Vegas, Nevada for the National Association of Broadcasters Conference. SNAB, NAB. If you guys know anything about photo or video gear, this is basically a convention where they unlike, unleash the new products, the latest software updates, anything that's exciting around media. We're standing in front of the Adobe booth because obviously this video is all about video editing. And guys, if you know anything about me, I own a business. We are hiring people all the time. We're hiring a ton of editors. And these are the things that I look for when I see an application come in as a video editor. So let's have some fun at NAB. And also, let's learn to get a job. Let's do it. Does the editor understand story? It's great if you're a technical editor, you can work fast, that's obviously a plus, but I want you guys to make good creative decisions. I wanna hand and edit off to you. I want you to know the pacing. I want you to know the flow. I want you to look at the script and understand the story. So fundamental, number one, understand story as an editor and practice that. That's the biggest thing we look for when we're hiring an editor. The second biggest thing that we look for when we're hiring a video editor is, do they have good organizational skills? I'm talking when you have an edit and I open it, are things properly put into bins? Is the B-roll organized? Are things labeled? When I open the project files, going into all the folders, are the assets in the right area? So having good organizational skills is key. Also, if we have a client that comes back a couple years later, they're like, oh, can you update that edit? This happens all the time. I should be able to open up that project, look at it, and truly understand what's in there because you've labeled everything properly. So organizational skills is huge. Actually on the note of organizational skills, Adobe's latest update for Premiere Pro has a free form panel window which allows you to organize things in a more creative way. So if you're a creative thinker, you wanna lay things out, you can like stack clips, you can find the hero shots, which is good for the future if you're opening up an edit because it allows the person who's now re-editing that video or that photo to understand where things are. So go and check out that latest update and also make sure you guys have good organizational skills. Organizational skills. Okay, so this next tip I'm gonna call being tasteful with transitions. Number one, I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory because it's very easy to add a lot of transitions to your clips. I don't wanna just be seeing Luma Fade, zoom transition, zoom transition for every single transition. It's cool when you guys have a bit of understanding of speed ramping and all these other effects, but one of the biggest things is understanding when and where to use them. Sometimes a simple cut is all that's necessary. So yes, know these things. Understand motion graphics so you can add little text pieces. Those things are good, but don't overdo it because it actually looks bad. So yes, less is more sometimes. And make sure that you're adding the right transitions for that particular project and what that client needs. So don't put Zoom transitions in a corporate video. They're probably not gonna like that very much. Okay, so before we jump into our next tip, the crazy things that exist at NAB. Okay, this is touch sensitive. There's a koi pond over here. If I touch, the water moves. So we're gonna do this tip by a koi pond. Does the person have a good understanding of pacing? A lot of editors will just have a voiceover and cut it back to back where it's all smushed together. And it's really quick and be like, today's the product and we're gonna be talking about this product and we're doing this thing with the product because that's X, Y, and Z. It's too, it's too much, you gotta leave some space. So an example would be like, today we're talking about the product and then you leave some room for it and now they show the B-roll of the product. So having an understanding of this flow is extremely important. So that's what I look for when you guys send examples to me when I wanna hire you or when someone else wants to hire you. If you guys didn't already know this, also within Premiere Pro and Audition, they have a new feature called the auto ducking feature, which essentially is doing half of this work for you. So if there's a voiceover, it's lowering it. And then if you leave some breaks and some room for B-roll, it raises it up, which is also good for vloggers. But nonetheless, if you have a good understanding of pacing, you're gonna get hired. This is the stuff we're looking for. Insight from someone who's a hire. See? Oh, I'm scaring the fish away. The digital koi are running. No, come back, be my friend, be my friend, be my, be my friend. No, no, you, you're freaking out. I like those guys. I need one of these in my place. It's like I'm part of the basketball game. One of the other things that we really look for is somebody who has a brief understanding of a few of the other programs, such as After Effects, Audition, maybe it's Photoshop, Lightroom. 
Yes, be specialized in your one area. If you're a video editor, definitely understand Premiere or whatever video platform that you're using. Then the second one would be like After Effects. We really love when people have like motion graphics, they can add a few effects in there. The more that you know, the more value you can add to a company and you're gonna get hired more often because of that. Okay, when you're at NEB, it's almost impossible to find a place that's quiet, but uh, vocal booth, I'm gonna go and record another talking bits in the vocal booth. Let's go there. Okay guys, that's it's much better in here. It's so quiet. It's so quiet, I can, I can actually hear my own thoughts. And on that note, the next tip is making sure you guys deliver things on time. Oh my goodness, if you wanna get hired again, always, always deliver on time. That's probably my biggest pet peeve. If I get a text from the editor the night before at 11, I'm sitting there watching a movie, just enjoying myself, get a little text, it's like editor pops up and they're like, hey Chris, I'm sorry, this is taking a lot longer than I expected. Can we push it back nine days? I'm like, no, we're not gonna do that, editor. We're gonna lose that client if you end up doing that. So please make sure you guys deliver on time. And pro tip, if you really wanna impress your client or the person that you're working for or hired by, deliver it early, a few hours early, that'll make them super happy. That's what's gonna get you a job. Woo! Okay, my last tip, one of the big things here, I'll get nice and close so you guys can hear it, is shortcuts. There are shortcuts to make you a faster editor. Know them, understand them, study them, so that you can create edits faster. The faster you can turn around things, the more in demand that you'll be. The other side of it is that most of the time as a video editor, you're gonna get paid in a bulk rate versus hourly. So the faster that you edit, the more money that you're gonna make per hour, also the more money that you'll make in total. So, shortcuts, learn those things, it's impressive. I don't wanna see any drag and drop editors or drag and click editors. I don't want to see that. I want to see shortcuts. All right, guys, so we're about to end off the video right now, but my last tip is just care. Get the updates. Understand different things. Get more knowledgeable. Figure out the new trends in editing because the more that you know, the more valuable you'll be to somebody that's hiring you. This is the stuff that we're looking for. We want somebody who really cares about the job and is going to do a good job. So on that note, guys, that's the end of the video. If you guys like this video, please press like. It actually makes a difference. Subscribe. <laughs> We'd love for you to join along and we'll catch you guys in the next one. P.S. It's my birthday today. It won't be when you guys see this video, but we're gonna go celebrate in Vegas and also to celebrate presets. Everything is 50% off for the next week, so treat yourself. All right, let's do Vegas. Peace.